Oh, Lonnie, this is great. Thank you for bringing this in. Glad to do it. But remind me, Tony, one more time, why did we bring this in today? Okay, today's show is all about new trends and new products. And sometimes in order to appreciate all these new trends and products, you have to go back to the past mm. and understand what we used to use comparing it to today. You know, well, speaking of the past, these are examples of tools that our grandfathers and our fathers and also Tony and I used oh, yeah. over the years to model, remodel and also build homes. That's true. You know, I think I only recognize about half of the tool set are in that frame now. <laughs> well, I do recognize the crescent wrench. My dad lived next door to the inventor and my grandpa was a tool and die maker. And he'd been invented that, what, in 1891? Late 1800s. It's been used a lot since then. Yep. Well, I can tell you one thing, guys, this saw right here, we used to use a saw like that to build the whole house. Oh, I yeah. can't imagine cutting a two by four with that. Now with power tools, it takes five seconds. <laughs> well, think about it, screwdrivers. We never had power stuff. We just did everything with one little arm. Right. Well, now when you think about screwdrivers, we have batteries for all different types of tools. So even when it with saws to screwdrivers, it just makes us more efficient. I'll tell you what, trends are really changed and hopefully we're gonna do that a little bit today. You know, it might be a little outdated, but it is important to look at the past to know where the future trends are going. So we're gonna talk about that today. All right, we gotta to get to our opening show. I'll bet you guys don't even remember air and not having air. Welcome to Between the Studs. We are Granite Ridge Builders, custom builders serving Northern Indiana, Northwest Ohio, and also parts of Southern Michigan. We have been building custom homes for almost two decades, and we're really passionate about what we do. So join us today as we explore the processes, the trends, and also tips that characterize today's new home. Thanks for watching. You know, Tyler, we're really fortunate here at Granite Ridge because we have a 15,000 square foot showroom that shows all the choices and the trends that are available today. But that's honestly one of the hardest parts of our job is keeping up with those trends because we're constantly re remodeling this place. I agree, Luke. I feel like every week we're remodeling a room and honestly, by the time this episode airs, we'll probably be remodeling That's another good. room. So I think we need some of the Between the Stud staff to help Ooh. us out with this remodel. Ooh, I don't know I'm gonna pass on that. <laughs> Tyler, I think you have to remodel all the time now because of technology, which is one of the biggest trends we're going to talk about today. Technology used to double every couple hundred of years, and now we're at the point where it evolves and doubles every two months. So trends change faster, and they stick around for a shorter period of time, and everybody has information to get those trends anytime they want them. Yeah. With 350 new clients every year and thousands of people coming through our doors on a yearly basis, we see so many new trends coming in from our clients and you know we're setting them in the same way. Absolutely. To keep up on all those trends, I get new products in here every single week that we have to be changing around. That's why they're doing this remodel so often, but it's really important and we're so excited to share all these trends with you. In one of the most recent surveys, it says 70% of Americans have dreamt of building their dream home. And one of the misconceptions in the marketplace is it's not possible for me. I can't afford it. I don't have enough money. That is a misconception. And the trend today we're going to talk about is financing, how easy it is to build a custom home and also how affordable it can be. Yeah, well, this is the new year. This is when trends are set. I think you're going to want to stay tuned. You might even want to grab a pen and a paper because we're going to rapid fire a lot of these trends that we hear of. I think they're important, but let's get started. Let's all pick our uh, rooms that we're going to be doing this in and get going. Everybody want to grab a tool? Uh, let's, let's, go. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's go do that. Let's go do this. Let's mess, mess up your hair. Mess up JR, what better way to start 2019 trends than kitchens? It's going to be the hottest topic we're going to talk about this year. I am so excited. So let's do maybe four or five really key components. Give us, start us out with your favorite one. All right, the one I'm really excited about, we're bringing stained trim work, and that's including your cabinets back. So we have a lot of stain, maybe in the maple woods, some hickory woods, and the gray colors is going to be gorgeous. We might pair it with a little bit of paint, but I don't see paint being near as popular as what it was. We're really bringing that stained natural look back. And Kayla, I think one of the biggest trends that I've been seeing is people losing upper cabinetry. I know it's it, it's it's a big shock. It's hard. We're getting rid of uppers. We're putting in lots of glass, adding natural light, lots of windows, and we're doing oversized pantries to accommodate and then give that extra storage back. Absolutely, Add extra light. We're even doing skylights, and don't forget about the oversized lighting fixtures that are still going to be really popular. You know, one of my favorite things to coordinate with the cabinets and the countertops is going to be the backsplash. Lots more backsplashes going in this year, and it's not going to be the subway 
driveway tile that you see behind us, we're getting into the large patterns. A lot of the tiles that are coming out this year have the, the, decorative, uh, the decorative floral prints or the uh, geometrical designs, and that's what you're going to see because we're going to do simple countertops with a really wow backsplash. Yeah, lots of bold colors in those too. Mm -hmm. One of the other things that that's going to be a big trend is something you're actually not going to see, and that's going to be hidden storage. We've got clean lines. We want to see these beautiful countertops. There'll be lots of pullouts for trash cans, pullouts for spice racks, lots of hidden ways to incorporate storage into the kitchen. Absolutely, and everything is all together now. So besides having a kitchen and then you have a dining room or then you have a nook in your great room, we're really incorporating that nook and kitchen together. Islands are connected to your nook. There's going to be an island and a table coming off of it, and that's where everybody is going to gather. So layout is going to be very important for this year's kitchen designs. Kayla, one of the next really big trends in kitchens too is going to be bringing that culinary experience into your home. So entertaining, having lots of prep stations. My wife and I cook at home all the time. So creating an environment where you can do that right from your own home. And what's really important to go along with that is going to be the appliances. Appliances that we're seeing are getting larger and more important in the overall design of the, the kitchen as well as the colors. Black stainless is in, you're going to see a lot of that. And Delta Faucets has even come out with black stainless faucets to go with those really important appliance features. Features. Tyler, this is one of my favorite shows of the year. We are talking about 2019 trends, what's new, what's exciting, and what are you seeing when it comes to outdoor living and bringing the inside out and the outside in? That's right, Tony. Outdoor living is becoming so popular in Fort Wayne, and we see it a lot in the field. When you go to a house, you see it from the street, but then when you get to the back side of the home, everything opens up. And like you said, people are really trying to make these areas of their home more enjoyable for when they invite friends and family over. It's just another area of the house that most people don't think of, and that's why it's a huge trend this year. Now, the fun part about what Tyler gets to do is he gets to see these when they're all being framed in. What are some of the things that you're seeing being framed in that we may not have seen two years ago? Well, whether it's a three season room, a veranda, or just a screened in porch, a lot of things that we're doing now are creating wider open spaces. So we're taking longer headers for, you know, bigger um, glass sliding doors, or we're framing in gable struts to give it the appearance from the backside of a home. Just gives it a grander feel, but we're doing a lot more framing to tie all these things into the roof lines, whether it's adding those gables above the screen porch mm -hmm. or the veranda. So we're really doing a lot of different things to account for these larger spaces. One way that I try to describe this is it used to be if you were to go down, let's say, Lakeside Park area or Forest Park Boulevard, you had these very big elaborate front porches that everyone would sit on and then the neighbors would walk by, they'd see it, they'd talk. They've basically taken that big front porch and put it on the back and now they have the decorative cathedral ceilings. We used to not see any beams at all in these and now we're seeing them not only painted, but we're seeing them stained. We're just seeing a lot of the decorative portion of the outside of the house that used to be reserved to the front, now on the back plus they're adding more features like more fire things. That's right. We're seeing a lot of bigger fireplaces, whether you're wrapping those in stone or brick. And sometimes, you know, with this one, you don't see two seats, but we can even add seats to the side of these fireplaces. So you have places to sit. You could put some planners in there. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. It's just really deciding what fits your needs, what you'd like in that space. So there's a lot of different options to choose from. And with a lot of people looking and spending a lot of time picking out the right lot, whether it's a wooded lot or a pond lot, they're designing these outdoor living spaces and including building in seats themselves to optimize that view. That's right. If you've been wondering how to optimize your view and how to optimize living outside and how to optimize those nine months of the year we can be outside of here in Indiana, please come on in through the front door or check out our website at graniteridgebuilders.com. All right, Tyler, we actually just got back from Las Vegas where we went to the International Builder Show. We sent a team out there because we're truly committed to knowing what the trends that are coming up and making sure that Granite Ridge is on that cutting edge. That's right, Luke. Now, one of the things we saw out there, which was really amazing, were just all the different types of products that people are using nowadays to make their homes more energy efficient. We're really making the envelope of their house just better from an efficiency standpoint, from a utility standpoint. We're gonna talk about some of those products, aren't we? Yeah, so that's a huge trend is energy efficiency. And you know, you're holding one product here that's kind of revolutionized the industry. Uh, long gone are the days of roofing felt. Uh, and then house wrap, it's very similar to this house wrap. And then this is our Raptor underlayment. 
Uh, and this was showcased at the International Builder Show. And this is safer, but it's also a better performing product that helps seal the envelope of the house. That's right. And I don't know how many times I get asked from homeowners. They're driving by their house. They see this big red, you know, wrap on the top of their roof. And they always ask me, what is that? Well, like you said, most people that built homes 20, maybe 30 years ago were so used to that felt paper. But our framers really love this synthetic Raptor wrap because like you said, it's not only safer, but it's providing a better shield across the OSB that we lay down before we put their shingles. So they're really starting out with a superior product compared to a lot of homes out there on the market. Right, and sticking with that energy efficiency trend, uh, we're seeing more two by six walls and they're foaming that, as you can see behind me there, just again, to help lock that, that envelope of the house in. And then we're doing a lot of checking throughout the house too. We, do, we pressurize inside the house to make sure there's no leakage. And then I got a little camera here in my hand that actually allows us to see, from a thermal imaging standpoint, we can see everywhere where we might have a potential uh, air leakage or any cold or hot spots there, and we can make adjustments to eliminate those. That's right, and cameras like that are so great because you know with homes that we're building now, another trend we're seeing is wide open concepts. So we're using, you know, different truss systems to account for those wide rooms, you know, it allows the roof to hit different pitches because certain trends like modern or contemporary, those things are coming back. And when you're building a wide open space like that, it's important to see, you know, if you have any different types of air leaks and corners. So people like myself in the field, project managers, we're going around, we're checking for those things to give homeowners, you know, a better envelope like we're talking about in their home. Yeah, and with those wide open and floor plans. We're eliminating a lot of the interior walls, so it changes how we frame the houses. And you can see a lot of the beams behind me here. Those become very important. But we're also putting in more walls of glass, larger patio doors, uh, bigger windows. People really want to have that natural light pouring in, and they also want to be able to see because we're building a lot of houses with gorgeous views. They want to be able to see outside. And again, that just changes how we're building these houses moving to, into 2019 and forward. That's true. So one of the best things about Granite Ridge Builders with something like the half a house is we want to be able to give you the voice to make the best choice when it comes to building your custom home. So come into Granite Ridge Builders, talk to somebody like Luke or myself or a decorator or salesman. Let us talk to you about some of these trends in 2019 so we can help you build your custom home. Now, Jay, we're talking about trends in 2019, but I want to talk about a few that aren't so flashy and sometimes people don't even notice it because they're invisible. Like the furnace, for example, how that can make the people in the house feel due to comfort, but then also the bottom line with the utility costs. And we install a 96% plus two-stage variable speed furnace, which means it's high efficient, but also really limits how much temperature swing you're going to feel, which makes us feel more comfortable in the house. And it makes our homeowners more comfortable too. Absolutely. And then we talk a lot about building it tight around here, which means that the envelope of the house is very, very tight, which means that we're only, you know, leaking a little bit of air and, and, and saving some of the utility costs. So we bring in a healthy fresh air intake, which means that we are controlling how often we let that house breathe. So it breathes the appropriate amount of time, which again makes the indoor air quality healthier for us and more comfortable. And that is huge. And we're one of the only builders that do that. Absolutely. And we control that, Luke, through our digital programmable thermostat, which is standard on every Granite Ridge home. Another big trend for 2019 is going to be indoor air quality. There's so many folks out there that have allergies and asthma, and building it tight, we want to make sure we eliminate those. So we've got a couple different filter options for 2019. They're going to really keep that indoor air quality nice and clean and healthy. Yeah, we can go up to basically a hospital grade uh, filter there. Absolutely. So, and in 2018, geothermal fell completely off the grid. It was not part of our conversation at all. Why? Because the tax credit from the government fell off. And that's mm -hmm. a, potentially a third saving. So, but 2019, it's back in. So it's part of the, the trends that we're seeing coming through the door. Absolutely. So in 2019, Luke, for most of our, um, especially our water heater, electric's going to be out. It's costly, it's expensive, a bad recovery rate. We're going to go to power vented gas water heaters that recover incredibly quick for our homeowners. Yeah, and I'm going to take that a step further. What people are coming to the table for us now are the tankless mm. water heaters, which means you're not spending the money to heat all that water up in the tank. You're only heating up the water at the point of usage, which means when you want want that hot water, it only heats it up at that point you're not wasting that money and that's a huge cost savings. Absolutely. And we're going to talk about technology in this show. So even with our sump pump, we're going to integrate new technology. People want to be alert. They travel all the time. We've got sensors now. They're going to be able to monitor any overflow so you can catch any potential problems with that sump pump overflowing in an instant. Yeah. And manifolds with water. So essentially what that means is that each plumbing fixture has its own dedicated line that runs to it. it goes from the water meter or the water heater directly to the line. It cuts down how far that water has to travel 
We've all flipped on the faucet and sat there and waited for it to heat up. This will cut that cost down or that time that you're waiting down by potentially a third to a half, which again, we're just wasting that water down the, the, uh, the trap there. So I get, we're saving money there in the long run. Yeah, Luke, so in 2019, what's trending? What's trending is energy efficiency, comfort levels of home. So if anybody out there is spending more than $2,000 a year on utility bills, you're paying way too much. It's money out the window. You need to call Granite Ridge right now. Elizabeth, one of the trends in today's new home has to do with the exterior, the very first thing you see. There are some exciting trends. And Lonnie, you're holding up a roof shingle. Lots of trends when it comes to colors for your roof. One thing we are seeing is dark on dark. So the exterior of their home may have a dark roof and your siding and the front of it is also going to be dark. So you may have a black roof and a charcoal exterior front. Also, as it relates to roofs, the slope of the roof, you know, how steep it is, is also changing. We've got less sloped roofs, like on a contemporary home. And then also we have a very steep slope roof, like on a country farmhouse, for example. And there's other accents when it comes to that roof. We're doing a lot of standing seam metal roofs. So it could be something just over the front porch or maybe over a dormer as an accent. So they're putting a lot of variety of materials together, even on the roof. Yes, we're also seeing a variation in color. White is really popular right now. And when we say white, we, we say all white. The brick is even painted white. But then we're doing accents such as black windows. Right, they're really in And cedar, or the cedar look is in when it comes to an accent. So it may be a column, it may be a strut, Maybe your garage door looks like wood as well as your front door. And speaking of columns, the old little stick columns mm -hmm. are out, aren't they? Wimpy I call, columns, as you call them? Wimpy <laughs> columns or wimpy posts, those are out. So your posts are very, very important. And those are typically on your front porch or your back porch. And that's another thing that is in for 2019. Mm -hmm. Another thing is your outdoor furniture. It's really important that cheap furniture is out. It's just like the inside of your house. We're putting a lot of emphasis on that exterior furniture. And like you said, bigger front porches, bigger back porches or covered porches, we call them verandas, are very, very popular today. They are, and you're holding some stone. Stone is in and brick is in. And this is a good example of the stone that is in. No mortar. No mortar. Very clean looking, very modern. And what we find is for just a few thousand dollars or sometimes just a few hundred dollars, we can make a major change that's going to accent today's new trend. Well, Elizabeth, we might not have been doing this as long as Tony and Lonnie have been, but we definitely still have some past that we can go back to for trends. We're going to talk to you about flooring trends, and can you believe we're already at the days where there is no carpet throughout the house? When I started doing design, it was almost everywhere. I know, I'm shocked. Just a few years ago, we always had carpet in a great room or an area like that. And more and more now, the carpet is going away. Absolutely. I've seen most of the homes this year, and it'll definitely continue, is going to be carpet in just the bedrooms. And instead of the carpet in a great room, we're doing resilient plank or luxury vinyl plank in that area. Everybody loves this trend because it's a waterproof floor, and it has a lot of great design and textures. Every time we keep coming out, I think every week, a different one of these products, and the textures and the images are becoming that much better. You even have some beveled edge and a lot lot of great prints that make this the product that everybody wants. It's easy to clean, it's great if you have allergies, great for kids and pets. And one thing we really like about doing this in a great room is you'll probably put down a big rug and it's something that's easy to change in the future. So if your style is changing, it's a lot more flexible. If somebody doesn't want a wood looking floor, there's a lot of new trends coming out in tile. What is one of those, Elizabeth? There sure are. Now this is really popular, especially when it comes to a bathroom, more of a mosaic pattern tile. We're seeing it also in backsplashes. I know you had mentioned earlier more of a basic countertop and some pizzazz when it comes to your backsplash, but this is hot. It absolutely is. Laundry rooms, bathrooms, this is what everybody's asking for. So this year we have a lot of great trends coming in flooring. Come out and check out all of the open houses that will have these latest trends. that I'm really excited to talk about this year is doors. There's a lot of new things that you might not even be thinking of. 
When it comes to trends with doors, we are definitely the people to talk to. So tell me a little bit today, what are some of the styles that are trending for 2019? I think we're still going to be taking a look at the two panel doors. Six panel is a thing of the past and we're looking at the two panel beadboard that you see behind me, two panel square top, arch top. That's still going to be a very big trend in painted doors. But I think we're even going to get again towards that modern style. So we're looking at the recess, the three panel craftsman, mm -hmm. the one panels. Uh, and the one I really like is the five panel door here so all of them are very popular and you can mix them with a lot of the different styles we're going to see this year now painting trends with doors i know painted doors have been very popular but you're telling me stained is coming back what do you think we'll see in 2019 i can't say it enough stained is absolutely coming back and stained in the low sheens and stained with paint to trim work that's going to be a huge popular trend but we're not even talking our typical pine or poplar stained door we're taking a look at the knotty hickories the knotty pines alders maples we're even looking at walnut doors and part of the granite ridge remodel this year is going to be incorporating over 30 door slabs for you to come and take a look at. Kayla, is there anything that we might not be expecting at all that we're going to see this year though? Well, we've talked over and over again about how the gold hardware is coming back. And what I don't think people are expecting to see is gold tracks for your barn doors. So okay. taking that modern spin on the old rustic look and the, the uh, brushed brass, those kind of features are gonna be coming in on your door handles as well as barn doors. So take a look, it's gonna be amazing. So of course, I'm sure we've piqued your interest somewhat with doors and 2019 is gonna be a wonderful year for the trends that you'll see with doors here at Granite Ridge Builders. Izzy, let's go plan out that door area. I really want to use the... I like the six panel, though. Lonnie, one of the biggest trends this year is getting into a brand new home. If you've been around this area at all for the last three years, you know that there is a housing shortage out there. There is a lack of available good homes out there that you can just go out and buy today and not have any worries about that. So new construction itself is becoming that trend. And one big question about that is, how do I get it financed? Right, there's a lot of misconceptions. A lot of people think they need this great big down payment, right. like 20%, oh, yeah. not true, or lots of closing costs. They're gonna have not all true. these overruns, which is not true, and they just can't make it affordable or put it in their budget. Just a lot of misconceptions. None of that is accurate anymore because there is so many different new products that are available that banks are going into with zero down loans. Also, another misconception is people think that they have to sell their home they're living in now before they can start building a new one. Right, we've helped so many people into their home. Last year, we helped approximately 100 customers buy homes with no down payment, for example. And the monthly payment, they told us, was less than renting. Especially when they're figuring in what they're doing with utility costs on that. Talked to a couple of you just last night, $350 was their electric bill for the last three months in a row. New home, you're probably averaging more like 150. You're right. So Tony, the trend is buying, not renting. And here's an example. You know, the big thing with people is right now, they are stuck in this renting circle that they're doing when there are some programs out there so that you don't have to have your car in a parking lot anymore. You don't have to worry about scraping all the ice off. Set it in the garage. Set it in the garage when you have your kids. They don't have to go play outside in front of an apartment complex with 50 cars zooming around them. You can get into your own backyard. You can have your own garage. You can host the family next year over at your house. A lot of times they're doing this from about $800 a month. No down payment, minimal closing costs, and payments in the $800 to $1,000 a month. Sometimes people have gotten into this for as little as $500 out of their pocket. You're right, it's a great way to buy a new home, and it's definitely trending. And that is the big thing. It's trending, it's new homes, it's all the different finance options that are out there. You may have a lot of questions about this. You may not know where to start. That's why we're here. We've, We've got hundreds of floor plans, hundreds of lots, a lot of selections. You gotta come and see us. Hi, I'm Izzy Rodriguez. You've seen me here on Between the Studs. And if you're living in an apartment right now, I'm talking to you. Yes, you, are you listening? Did you know that for the amount that you're paying in rent right now, I could get you into a brand new home, something that you had no idea that you could do. In our brand new homes, whether you're in Angola, Columbia City, right here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, I can get you into something brand new. You could have your own house, you could have your own garage, your own backyard, all the things that make 
home ownership so valuable and so wonderful, we can do that for you right now under the price that you're paying for rent. If you'd like more information, give me a call at 260-403-7878, 260-403-7878. Let me get you out of your apartment and into a brand new home. To finish up today's show, we have to talk about lighting and color, really important in today's trends. You're right, Kayla. Lighting is so important. In 2019, we're going to see large fixtures, a lot of different uses in metals. Absolutely. For exterior of the home, light fixtures that are small are out, bigger is in, and you're going to be seeing a lot of can lights. We really want to focus on lighting up the house with some accents, the landscaping light, and don't forget all LED, especially on the outside of the house. You're right. The bulb is extra important this year for 2019. 19. And we're really excited for the finishes that are coming in with lighting. We're seeing the golds. I love the golds. You're going to have some bright fixtures too. We're doing some more chrome. That modern look is really coming back at that sleek, contemporary. I think we're getting away from the rustic this year and you're going to see some oversized fixtures. You're going to see clear glass, maybe a little bit of obscure glass, but a lot of uh, really modern uh, style and a little bit of glitz and glam in there too. And we're seeing them in other areas such as the bedroom fixtures, hallways, so not just your kitchen chandelier or your foyer. And don't forget, ceiling fans are real important to, to take a look at a lot more design and style. So we have a lot of great options in our models that you can come take a look at. Now, Kayla, let's not forget color, some of the big color trends this year. You know, color is really important, and we're going to see a lot of the lighter wall paint colors throughout most of the house, but we're going to get a little bit of pizzazz in there with some pinks and greens, and purples are really popular. And a lot of these are going to be accent walls, is that correct? Absolutely. Accent walls are back in, as well as wallpaper, and we're going to keep talking about these trends in next week's show. Well, in the meantime, we need to keep up on this remodel here. I asked the guys to be here a couple minutes ago. I don't, I don't know. Oh. Okay, yeah. well, while they're coming, we really invite you to come out to Granite Ridge and take a look at all this new remodel to incorporate the new trends. It's going to be real important to come out and take a look because it's always changing. And don't forget to visit us on Facebook, Instagram, Vimeo. We have a lot of houses we've just finished, ideas, trends. Visit us there. I thought this was a good show. Would you close for us? Yeah, absolutely. As always, guys, we want to thank you for spending part of your day with us. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about who we are, what we do, and why we do what we do so well, please just pick up the phone, give us a call, visit the website below, even better yet, come in our front door and tell us which of these 2019 trends you want to incorporate in your new custom home. Can we use some of those old tools on you? Let's do it. All right, guys. Yeah. Yeah. We need some help. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody grab this hammer. And I do recognize the crescent. It's a crescent. And I do recognize the crescent wrench. My dad grew up to... <laughs> oh, no. oh. Okay. It's a great product. Everybody loves this trend because it's a waterproof... Because it's a waterproof... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't talk today. They say windows are the... <laughs> windows? I thought I had an opening. I thought opening. you were thinking... Like that's not their <laughs> they say windows are important, but we're going to talk about doors, right? I have a great opening, and then I'll botch it. <clears throat> they say that the eyes are the windows, are the doors to the soul. What am I talking about? I was thinking, that's what I was thinking, is that eyes are the windows of the soul instead of doors. I'm going, so I'm on the wrong tropic altogether. All what I really love is the five panel door, like this one over here. I think that's five panel. No, you wasn't 100% sure until I opened it. I and behind door number really one, <laughs> we did find the right answer. Yeah. <laughs> I almost said oomph. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been like awesome. Like the color, like okay. add some pink extra for mm. some. You said Ooh. color. Okay. Now with shiplap, beadboard, picture paneling, there's just a lot of options to really add that extra oomph to your home. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs>